Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about a client calling steatoma imaging technology. Secondary of a client calling steatoma, ACH, tympanic membrane, reduction or perforation, cause accumulation of Stratified skull squamous epithelial cell in middle ear. Create mass like keratin ball. Bioplacidine calling steatoma. PFC8. 80%. Biotensor calling steatoma. P T C fifteen percent sinus cholesteatoma P T C in sinus tympany external auditory cholesteatoma most common sign symptom a return of chronic metal ear infection with TM preparation or retraction pocket, conductive hearing loss, CAL, middle ear mass with tympanic preparation on autoscopy, or smelling aura charge. Other signs in symptom, painless. Authority, vertical lethargy, facial nerve paralysis. Occur in children and adults, usually in children less than four years of age. Imaging, non enhancing middle ear soft tissue membranes plus ossicular erosion. PFCA in Process space with scrutum erosion plus minus thickman deepening lateral semi circular canal, special nerve canal, or sigmoid sinus flat dehiscent. PTCH in posterior mesotympanum may to ossicon plus minus ossicolon. Erosion, involvement of sinus tympani, facial lesions, editors, aid, andrew, or mustard, restrict diffusion on TWI and associated granulation tissue or scar may decay. Best modality, non contrast bone, CT, axial and coronal, ossicolite, and Adjacent bone evaluation. Coronal T1 C plus FS bone. Suspected intracranial extension infection. This is the coronal bone CT in a seven years of patient, so a large middle ear mass filling the upper vessel tympanum with opacification of the be deepening and process space. Blunting of the scutum and near complete erosion of the ossicle. Typical of the PF cholesterol. Gulabon CT in the in a 10 years of patient with chronic arthritis media and motoria, so a line PFCH nearly filling the mesotympanum and epitympanum, the demineralized, partially eroded, ossicol, and Deviated inferior and major.
Absorbon City in the same patient demonstrate for all deficiency of the right lateral SCC compared to the normal covering of the left lateral SCC. Also note the underdevelopment of the right mastoid SI relative to the left, a common finding in chronic inflammatory disease. Axial T1C plus F as a whole in a six years old boy treated for a temporal bone, rhabdomyosarcoma, four years, prior demonstrated enhancement, enhancement at the primary sugar bed. Mildly enhancing inflammatory mastoid disease and a non-enhancing acquired cholesteatoma. Axial bone CT, so completely opacity location of the right tympanum, tympanic cavity, and mastoid complex. There is destruction of mastoid separation and focal dehiscence of the sigmoid sinus flare. Treatment, surgical excision, mastoid ectomy, and ossicular chain reconstruction if needed. Thank you.